In this problem, we're told a ball is thrown horizontally from the roof of a building 9 meters tall and lands 9.5 meters from the base. What was the ball's initial speed? So we have this building here. So here's our building. And so we know a ball is being thrown off of it horizontally. So this building is going to be 9 meters tall, right? And the ball is going to land 9 meters away from the base. So this is the base of the building, uh, 9 meters away, or 9.5 meters away is how far the ball is going to land. So our ball is going to land right here. It's being thrown right here. So our ball is being thrown like this, and it's going to look something like this. So our ball is going to land right here. And so now that we've got a drawing, let's uh, write down all of our givens. So given, and whenever you have a two-dimensional problem, you want to write the given for the x direction, and then you're going to want to write the given for the y direction, because you got to split them up. And so let's start with the x direction. So in the x direction, you basically always want to make sure uh, acceleration is zero meters per second, unless they specify differently, but it's basically always going to be zero meters per second. And then we also know uh, delta x, right? Our change in our x is going to be 9.5 meters because we started zero here, and then we go all the way to 9.5 meters. And then uh, what we're trying to find, right? It's trying to find the ball's initial speed. And so we're trying to find v sub zero. So v sub 0 equals question mark. And then we also don't know time. So they don't tell us the time it takes till the ball is going to land. So we're going to write time equals question mark 2. Now let's move on to the y. So a equals, and then on the y direction, since we're on Earth, I'm assuming uh, it's going to be minus 9.8 meters per second squared because that's the force of gravity acting on the ball. Uh, change in y is going to be uh, so we start here at 9 meters, and we go to 0. So delta y is just our final position minus our starting. So 0 minus 9 is just going to be minus 9 meters. And then v sub 0 in the y direction, it's basically always going to be 0 meters per second. Uh, they don't, unless they specify differently, you just assume it's 0 meters per second. And then time, uh, we don't know how much time it's going to take either for it to hit the ground, right? So time is going to be question mark. So in order to find uh, the ball's initial speed, what we're going to want to do is solve for t. And so in this equation, we can't solve for t because we don't know v sub 0. Right? They're asking for v sub 0, but uh, we can't find uh, v sub 0 without t. So we're going to use this equation to solve for it. And so let's go ahead and do that. And so the equation that we're going to use, uh, this one's basically used always in two-dimensional kinematics, is delta y or delta x. It depends on uh, which way you're working. Uh, so delta y equals v sub 0 times t plus 1 half a times t squared. So this is going to be the equation we're going to use, and we're just going to plug in our values into this and uh, solve for t. And so once we get t, we're going to plug it in this one. So delta y, we already wrote it down. It's minus 9 equals v sub 0, which we know is 0, right, in the y direction. So it's 0 times t, which we're solving for, but... 0 times any number is 0, so it's just going to be 0. And I'm not going to write 0 plus. I'm just going to get rid of it. So it's going to be 1 half times a, which is minus 9.8 times t squared. And so minus 9.8 times 1 half is minus 4.9. So it's times t squared. We want to solve for t. Divide both sides by minus 4.9. If you go ahead and do that, uh, you're going to get t squared equals minus 9 divided by minus 4.9. So that's going to be equal to 1.8367. So if we want to get t, just square root both sides. If we square root that, we're going to get t equals 1.355. So keep in mind this is in seconds, right? Because this is in seconds. So 1.355 seconds. And so this is going to be the amount of time it takes till it hit the ground, right? And so we know t is 1.355 seconds. It's going to be the same for this one, right? Because they're both till the ball hits the ground. So 1.355 seconds. Now that we've got time, what we can do is just solve for v sub 0, which is what it's asking for, the initial velocity. So we're going to use the same exact equation. Uh, so let's just start plugging it in. So delta x in this case is going to be 9.5 equals v sub 0, which is what we're solving for, times t, which is 
1.355 plus 1 half times a. And so we know what a is, it's zero. So that's gonna make it easier. Uh, and then times t squared, so 1.355 squared. Notice that this is zero, so this whole thing is just gonna become zero because uh, we're multiplying. So plus zero is just gonna be adding nothing, so just get rid of it. And then to solve for v sub zero, just divide by 1.355. If you go ahead and do that, uh, you're going to get that v sub 0 equals 9.5 divided by 1.355, uh, which means v sub 0 equals 7.011. And so keep in mind, this is velocity, right? So it's going to be in meters per second. Uh, I'm not sure, uh, not sure how you're told to round. I'm going to round to the whole number, though. So v sub 0 equals 7 meters per second. So that's going to be our answer. So... What was the ball's initial speed? It's going to be 7 meters per second.